Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in 2 Kings chapter 17, beginning at verse 9, and it goes like this. And the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord there, there from the tower of the watchman to the fence city. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burn incense in all the high places, as did the heathens whom the Lord carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. For they served idols, whereof the Lord had said unto them, Ye shall not do this thing. You know, folks, these verses could have been written to the church of today. Many churches have quit serving God and turned their backs on God's commandments. And the church has become more of a hangout place on Sunday morning for the few that can recover from the party the night before. Or worship service in many churches today is a form of worship of self in place of God. And I'm sure that you've seen this yourself. Worldly pleasures have become their idols with their hearts desire more pleasure and less of God. There's a lot of self-proclaiming Christians that are shacking up, having no thought of matrimony. The dress codes seem to be show more skin, and the more the better. Preachers don't preach against sin and, and hell. You don't hear that often. We wonder what happened to our beloved USA. Wickedness in our country is running rampant. Divorce rates are the highest ever. Child abuse is just, it's going crazy in child abuse. Drugs and alcohol abuse are at record highs. Law enforcement are nothing more than setting ducks. The courts aren't helping anything there. We need to fall on our knees, folks. Cry out to the Lord, begging for forgiveness of our sins. Whoa, we've turned our back on the Lord here in the United States of America. You know, We've got to begin a renewed uh, devotion to God. We need to, folks. We need to. Uh, demanding Satan to depart from our church. Yes, uh, there's, there's satanic things in a lot of churches right now. We need to begin teaching morals to our children and to our young people. Preaching against sin, telling them about sin. What happens if they don't turn their life over to the Lord and quit sinning? Yeah, let them know that there is a hell. We've got to teach proper dress codes, teaching proper conduct in and out of the house of the Lord. Just because you're a goody two-shoe in church doesn't mean you're a goody two-shoe once you walk out that front door. Yeah, it's just like you pull the mask off and take off for yourself. You know, we need to teach moms and dads to, to live a life that their children would want to serve God and not the gods of this world. And there's a lot of gods, little G's, in this old world, but they're bound down to them, folks. We need to cry out to the Lord today. And I hope you'll join me in praying for our country and for our church in the U.S. of A., because we have turned our back on God 
And there's going to be a day of judgment coming soon. Well, I hope this encourages you. Cry out to the Lord today. Don't wait. Turn from your, your sinful ways. Repent of your sins. Ask God for forgiveness. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on the cross for us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.